Kish, eventually. You are welcome back after the weeks of uh, break. So we are going to discuss just introductory remote sensing. Now that the foundation has been laid, you already know all you need to know. So we just introduce ourselves to the subject of remote sensing. And what is remote sensing? Remote sensing, remote sensing, remote sensing. What is remote sensing? Uh, somebody asks you, you should be able to state what remote sensing is. Actually, it's the art of science for the acquisition, processing, interpretation of the images and the related data, which we obtained either on the ground using the ground base or using the spacecraft or uh, air uh, uh, aeroplane. So, alternatively, we can also define remote sensing as sensing an object or a body using, we have known what is electromagnetic spectrum. That is the basic electromagnetic spectrum to image, this time around, the object could be land, could be ocean, or the atmosphere. Now, electromagnetic, which is EM or EMR, we already know is a form of energy coming from the sun. From our previous thermodynamic, we know that radiation. So it's a form of wave or a particle from the sun that travel through, we already know, all those uh, spectrum. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, X-rays. Uh, X-rays or ultraviolet rays, they are not, or gamma rays, they are not applicable to what we need, but we still need to know that they are spectrum from the sun. Our main uh, purpose is the feasible, which we have discussed shortly. So electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy which the sun releases every now and then, 24-7, and is the movement of electrically charged particles traveling from the sun through the vacuum or the space. So mostly, when we talk of remote sensing, the body charge that is uh, in charge of remote sensing is the National uh, Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is NASA from the US. Now, we've already discussed, this was the spectrum discussed uh, sort, um, in, a, in a sort way. So we have seen how if the wavelength is longer, then the frequency, the frequency will be very low. And then when we have a very short wavelength, the frequency will be higher. That is the relationship which we have discussed uh, before. Now, this is the application of EM. We, are, we apply EM in everyday life, the TV, but this is our main concern, the feasible, the feasible light aspect of the EM. So this is where the X-ray is uh, being applied, the gamma ray, and all. So. This is what is measured using remote sensing. This is what we have. The blue or wet, pay blue, for those who uh, know colored everywhere, give the average of strobe, which is when we have strobe, this is what the signal look like in remote sensing. Oh, sorry. And then when we have the grass, is a purple, and then when we have the soil, 
to give it in red. So this is the wavelength and the, the radiance. We already know what this means from the previous class just now. So same for this, when we have stroke and then look, this is the band. We have band one, two, three, up to seven. But the details of analysis of the data, it doesn't concern us just to introduce us to what we have. Okay? Same for solar radiation. When we have a clear solar radiation and then when it is cloudy, then this is the energy. Music